your philosophy or lack thereof may be the root of the problem here. I was concerned during our conversation earlier this month when you told me that you really didn't have a judicial philosophy. The American people deserve a Supreme Court justice with a documented commitment to the text of the Constitution and the rule of law, not a judicial activist who will attempt to make policy from the bench. Without a judicial philosophy, a judge is legally adrift and will be inclined to consider policy rather than law. You once wrote that every judge has, and I quote, personal hidden agendas, end quote, then influence how they decide cases. So I can only wonder, what's your hidden agenda? Is it to let violent criminals, cop killers, and child predators back to the streets? Is it to restrict parental rights and expand government's reach into our schools and our private family decisions? Is it to support the radical left's attempt to pack the Supreme Court? You have praised the 1619 Project, which argues the U.S. is a fundamentally racist country, and you have made clear that you believe judges must consider critical race theory when deciding how to sentence criminal defendants. Is it your personal hidden agenda to incorporate critical race theory into our legal system? These are answers that the American people need to know. So we are going to look at past statements and decisions and seek clarification from this committee before we make our decisions. So let me close again by congratulating you on your impressive career and your nomination to the nation's highest court. Regardless of the outcome of the confirmation process, you and your family should be incredibly proud of all that you have achieved. Your story is a wonderful example of the American dream fulfilled. You are able to sit here today because you were reared and built your career in a free country whose laws protect equal justice and opportunity for all to ensure that future generations can expect the same blessings and opportunities you receive, we need justices who will be dedicated to justice and the rule of law. Our questions to you over the coming days are going to be tough, but they're tough by necessity because it is our duty to discern, determine whether you will, first and foremost, uphold the Constitution and our nation's founding principles. Thank you so much for joining us.